They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Welcome back to Estrogen Release. I'm gonna try to look in the lens because vlogging is uncomfortable for me, um, but I'm gonna make it do what it do. And we are in front of my patio window, so if we occasionally look at people out there, uh, I apologize for that as well. Um, this is kind of a different setup for Estrogen Release. Um, I think this is like my first, Sydney's always on my channel because we hang out, but this is my first collabs with my girl Chaz. She's been in the family for like, I don't know, I probably don't use since I was born. I was life. <laughs> yeah, our grandparents were neighbors, so it's just like, y'all know how that go. You know, we cousins for real, you for know. Real. Um, Y'all remember those Valentine's Day parties yeah. in school or whatever? <laughs> I really suck at getting into the mood for holidays. I don't really like holidays. However, I just really want to turn my life around in 2020 and just really get into the mood for certain things. So I was like, why not buy a bunch of junk food? get into the mood that way so first let me get my thumbnail so y'all pick up a snap real quick and then smile thumbnail okay great thank you <laughs> all right Sydney's vegan and she we literally just did a vegan snack haul on her channel so I apologize Sydney. I do not know what you can eat we'll on this table. <laughs> she does have snacks so she yeah. won't she will have something but I know what I want to get first and it's this Ooh. <laughs> you taking it back old school. Girl, Lil Debbie was my best friend back in the day. Like, I just remember those Valentine parties where basically, you know, you would bring, you had to bring food to participate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what I really wanted to do for you guys, but I couldn't do it, was get you guys those little Valentine cards. Aww, remember those ones? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, they don't sell those anymore. That's silly. Maybe if you have found it on Amazon. Girl, I ain't that prepared. Too. I ain't <laughs> not that prepared. What do y'all want to eat first? I don't know what. What's the food roll up? I just know for the um, the Valentine's Day parties, and I, I didn't like a lot of people when I was a kid. You sound like so City. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you have to give cards to everyone. I'm yeah. like, Mommy, I don't want to give a card to so-and-so. I don't like him. I'll be mad. <laughs> Cindy's gonna get her ice cream. But the thing is, I remember just writing everybody's name down and be like, you know what? I wanna make sure that I was really kinda like pressed to do it. My parents, <laughs> they weren't really into like getting stuff for other kids. Yeah. So they were like, why are you taking all this food to school? And I'm like, because I just want people to, you know, this is what you, yeah, it's like this is, I don't know, I felt like you was kinda cool if you brought like a cool like gift bag yeah. to, did you participate? Yeah, um, like first through third grade, no, kindergarten through third grade, I went to a private school, so we were like, more like close knit back then, so like everybody mm -hmm. friends everybody, everybody's parents and everybody. Then I went to public school, it was like a whole nother realm. Like we didn't like really participate in like Valentine's Day like that. Yeah. So I remember like those first years, everybody was on my birthday party. And in fourth grade, I passed out my birthday invitation, like five people came. I was like, what is that? That's my worst nightmare. <laughs> See, that was the thing. Like, I just felt like I really thought that you know, Valentine crushes were kind of real. And so I'm not even gonna lie, like, I, I wasn't the type of person that would get invited to a lot of parties or anything, but I also wanted to get one of those cards from like at least one guy yeah nobody <laughs> never i mean i would have like a little nice little i guess selection but it was never like i specifically got yeah, this for, for you. you yeah and so that's why i don't like valentine's day y'all like no but that brings me to my first <laughs> question mm -hmm. do you believe in valentine's day like do you think that valentine's day is a significant representation of love yeah. No. <laughs> no. I never have, I've never really celebrated. Like my grandma would get us little gift baskets and stuff when we were little. And like my aunt would make us these little strawberry cake. And they were heart shaped. Mm -hmm. So good. But it's like when it came to the holiday, I'm just like, I think it's stupid. And it's like yeah. I'm one of those people who believe if you love somebody, you show them 365 days out of year. Don't mm -hmm. just go all out, be do something special just because it's a capitalist holiday and they tell you you're supposed to. Yeah. So that's how I've always felt. What about you, Sydney? Yeah. Well, I have never been in love before, nor have I had a boyfriend before. So. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to sad music. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, don't slide in my DM stuff. So. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Is she for real though? That's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like Valentine's 
Valentine's Day would be like a nice day to celebrate, but I feel like it shouldn't be like that important. Like make sure you show love every other day of the year. Make sure you're appreciative of whoever your significant other is. But I do feel like Valentine's Day, maybe put a little more effort into it. See how the other person feels about it. Yeah. See if that's important to them, if it's important to you, and then go from there. But that's not gonna stop my on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely don't count. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll tell you that story later. But. Girl's funny, but yeah, that, oh, yeah, that. it's just like you brought bring up a good point. I, I personally do not try to focus too much on a specific day because one thing that goes wrong on that day, then every day that every time that day comes up, you be like, so literally every Valentine's Day and stuff, probably maybe one has been negative experience for me. Like either the oh, dude really? they just don't believe in holidays, mm. or that situation when the ex called me at three o'clock in the morning. Oh my, talking girl, about, that was. That was that we were ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really ready to fight. I was, I was ready to just be like, we done. Because I, y'all know it. I say it almost every five videos. I'd rather be by myself if I have to deal with bull crap. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's life is too short. These guys or whatever. You know, I'm quite sure that there's a lot of guys out there who have the same thing to say about women. You know, playing games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But look, life is too short to get like hung up on these little petty relationships. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> and me personally, I just feel like on Valentine's Day, you don't have to go all out. I would prefer you to do, you know, put that effort in every single day. You know, monetary things don't really mean a lot of, a lot to me either. But it's Valentine's Day. Like, I just feel like, do something. Get you know card. what I'm saying? Don't like, get a yeah. card. Like, something. So, that's my next question. Like, did your parents do, like, a lot for each other on Valentine's Day? Because my father, he wasn't really the type of person. He wasn't really into that bushy stuff. But he did his part. Like, some every now and then, he would do something. It wasn't the best. It wasn't that romantic, but it was like, oh, that's okay. But my mom, she loved this type of stuff. I, I feel like since I saw that, my mom put in the effort. I feel like I put in the effort to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just remember my grandmother and my aunt, mm -hmm. for real. It's like, my dad's Muslim. He don't celebrate um, mm -hmm. holidays. Yeah. I just remember, like, like yeah, like, like Valentine's Day, Easter, like, we would get stuff from my grandma. She would get these, like, big bags or, like, baskets and stuff. And, yeah. like, have all these presents and candies. But, like, as far as my mom, like, I don't recall I think my it's mom so cute, doing though. that. It is so cute, like, It is really cute. I really, yeah. it's something about, like, like waking up to something and somebody got you something even if it's like really really small like this it's a, a box it's of a chocolate really nice gesture, yeah. and I'm not talking about that CVS nasty oh, chocolate no. I'm talking or that you know that little whack little bear I'm talking about something that's really really like cute and thoughtful mm -hmm. you know and, and something that's not last minute you yeah. know what about you have been divorced since I was two, so I don't know what them people did, but um, <laughs> them people, people. But um, my mom did get remarried, so like she makes more of like a she was my stepdad to show her with more love that day, but she doesn't really get him anything in return. Oh. <laughs> so she'll like tell me like for holidays, for her birthday, for her anniversary, she'll like tell me like what she she'll give me list what she yeah. wants, and then I'll go to him and be like, okay, so we going to do because he's not a good gift giver. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Ben. He, he, he's weird. He's a, he's a weird one. So we had to guide him through some. No, you can keep that over there. Boo. She wanted those like on um, the Venus flowers that don't die within the box. That wow. all the Instagram girls have, but they're like really expensive. And look. he's like, you cheap. haven't seen the fly it? trap? No, like no. everybody's it's been like promoting a box it. So like roses, but it's like color and they don't die. It look like glass. Oh, yeah, I don't know that. So, Girl, they get um, real. They get real yeah. expensive. So he like, finally got her, but it's like a hundred dollars for the box of like twelve flowers, but they don't die. I mean, so. yeah, so he, he was a little mad in that, but I got her good this year. So yeah, I like right. dead flowers. I need mine to die. I do like dead flowers. Why are we so cryptic? Let me open up my next snack that I wanted to eat. But A for presentation. I just love stuff like this. Like, I mean, again, I'm not really big into holidays, but when I see that you, you know, you take time to go out for the aesthetic, I vibe with it. So watch me rip it open. It's all about marketing and advertising. Yes, like, and that was the thing. Like when I went to Walmart, I just went, girl, girl. But long story short, I went there and I was like, hey, where's your Valentine? Out. Like I feel like on Valentine's, this is a week out before Valentine's. I shouldn't even have to ask you yeah. where the owl is yeah. because when I was a kid, I just remember it being so like in your face. Everything was pink and red. Back but I in thought the day. a few years ago too, it was stuff. Still, they would have a section, like a whole mm -hmm. section, decorations, all that. They yeah. did have that, so it wasn't a hundred percent bad. But I just thought it would be more like commercialized than what it was. Like yeah. I was expecting to walk in and be like, "Oh, cookies, cake." Right. It took me a while to find the stuff. This is interesting. So look, yeah, I really got a cough real bad, so I just let me give me a second. I like we're kids. kids. That's what I was I saying. Like it. That's I how I wore like, my pigtail. Really and shout out to the curly girlies. We're all curly girlies in the video. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this reminded me of like 
oh, that kind of fancy cherry. candy that you wouldn't like be able to just get from a family dollar you have yeah. to like go somewhere cooler oh it's punch okay as long as it's not cherry i was about to say i don't think i would check. try it if it's cherry mm -hmm. cherry candy tastes like robitussin it might be cherry no okay. it's something pump, punch oh punch yeah Sorry, birth control time. Sorry. <laughs> I, that's why I always know, like, when that alarm goes off, because my, my best friends, they had that in college, so I mm -hmm. always associate that sound with, like, birth control. No. I just, but then sometimes people just have an alarm, and I just be like, birth control? They're like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Okay, so. What are they? Like, oh, so they're shaped like those little, oh. I feel like I don't want to mess this up. Me either. Okay, there's the pig. Oh, see, I feel like it's about to be a mess. I'm very messy. I think I have open the other side. Oh, you eat that this? Hurt? No. <laughs> what's in the, What's in there that you cannot eat in gelatin? Gelatin oh. is made out of bones. Huh? Yeah. How do you get gelatin from bones? You when like liquefy it? Yeah, yeah. When you liquefy it. That's what makes it gummy. What? Taste test. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get into Can y'all see it? Ooh, oh, girl, you gotta get into lens. Yeah. Is it focused? Yeah. Uh -huh. Y'all see that? You go. Yeah. You go. See that consistency? It's yeah. like real thick. You gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. Yeah, it's just um, it's like the the, the sour punch things. Mm. It hits you in the mm, back of the throat. Yeah, like, mm. Oh my gosh! I Can like you at least though. try this? <laughs> it's like, it's like diabetes. Oh, I actually mm. can. Really? Mm -hmm. You hear that? You feel that? I meant to say this though. Mm. The reason I don't like candy like this, when I was a kid, it reminded me of drugs. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> I have my stuffed animals. I'm like, man, you got that good. You got that good. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, get some of this, and I'll be like, yeah, get in there, yeah. Mm -mm. And I'll just get like acting like I'm like, <laughs> I'm popping. No, I like stuff. that. Um, them cigarette candies. Yeah, I like those. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like. But well, me and my sister used to roll up paper and just. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, why do we do that as a kid? Like, that don't make no sense to me. I definitely want to like ask you this because I know your answer. <laughs> What's the question? She keeps dodging the mic. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm not contaminated. I'm telling you. For real. Do you think women should spoil men, especially on Valentine's Day? If that is your prerogative, <laughs> that is your prerogative. <laughs> kind of but um, I'm not. I'm like more of like um, I guess like more old school thinking in like a way. Like a man should like treat the woman better. If like the woman is the gift, like she's the prize, and mm -hmm. the man needs to go and get that prize. He needs to earn that prize. He needs to show that he's motivated, that he really wants this woman. I mean, I, you don't have to be like mean or anything, but like me and Asia always have this conversation. Just the way we were raised, um, the way like my mom raised me is basically that you know like the the man spoils the woman, mm -hmm. um, and the woman doesn't really give back until like you're married or like engaged so like for example my sister she came home for christmas and she wanted to get her boyfriend a gift me and my mom was looking at her like girl like <laughs> he gives you a gift like mm -hmm. if you want to give him a gift you give him a gift but i wouldn't give him a gift so yeah. that's just our way of thinking over here what they respect you? you don't they <laughs> <laughs> Part, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> what about you? The, I mean, I, I like that that, that idea because I mean, I've I've come from a place where it was just like I used to be really boy crazy. Mm -hmm. Really? And then yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was, I, was gonna say, I can't see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, and then it got to a point too. It's like, especially when I was like in my mid twenties, because I was thinking like, oh, I should be married by thirty, so I have to have a boyfriend. So I started being real desperate. So I would spoil guys and like get gifts and stuff or do like just od stuff. And I'm like, wait, like I had people tell me like my best friend be like, don't get him this or don't do this don't do that like because i was talking to this guy a couple years ago and like we had just met we had gone on a couple dates and his birthday came up so i made him like a little care package mm -hmm. and she was like well that's for, that's a boyfriend treat that you give you yeah. don't give him any she's like don't do it and i did it anyway and we ended up stop talking like mm -hmm. months later mm -hmm. but it was like but still like so i see what she meant because it's like i think that as a woman you should let the man chase you spoil you yeah. like you think yeah. and then you're more respected because if you're like spoiling a man i think that turns them off because they want to be the providers and mm -hmm. it's like if you show up with the okie doke from the jump they're just like Mm -mm. I don't value her because she mm. doesn't value herself. I mean, like, I would like to like do things for a man, mm -hmm. but like not unless I see it given back to me. Right, yeah. And then, like you said, like they like they act weird. Like when you start caring for them in that type of way, um, we always like me and Asia always say like don't do wifey things for like just a exactly. boyfriend, or don't do girlfriend things for just somebody you're talking to because mm -hmm. like they gonna take advantage of it. And they gonna get why buy the cow and get the milk free. Like, exactly. Type of thing, yeah. So. Yeah. See the way I see it, I'm gonna really like you put in what you get mm -hmm. i feel like 
I don't do those things unless I really feel like I receive those things. Mm -hmm. Because I think me personally, just who I am, I do like a man who takes initiative. Yep. And that's what yeah. I find attractive in a man. And so personally, like I see what y'all saying, but I don't, I still will do something. But trust and believe, I'm not about to be like, you want your feet massaged tonight? Like, and you haven't even taken me out to eat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you get, it's a give and take. But to go back to you don't do, that is a good takeaway. Ebony used to tell me this all the time. She like, I don't believe in doing no wifey thing until I got a ring or whatever. And I'm not saying that you have to like legit have a ring before you cook a man a meal, but don't overextend yourself. Yeah, I think exactly. that's the overall yeah. like, don't overextend yourself because you honestly, I feel like this goes for men too. Cause I feel like it's weird how life works. I feel like men get matched up with women who are kind of like trifling. And that's when they get to the point where it's like, F women, yeah. women suck, women are bees. There's no good women out here because they get matched up with women who literally have nothing going for them. Mm -hmm. And then same vice versa for women. We get matched up with men who legit have nothing going on. It's like, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, but like legit just don't, they're just not your equal. They're just not matching up. But I think one thing I can say for us, we kind of peaked that before that even comes to the camp. So yeah. we don't really have to worry about overextending ourselves. Like because they don't make it to that part anyway. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, out of here. Like, there's no way in the world we in the talking stage and I'm cleaning up your house or I'm cleaning oh, up, you clean goodness. your bathroom. No. Like, no. You gotta prove, like, I feel like even it, I don't know. I know of a woman who go. was married there to a man and she does each and every single thing for him. Buys groceries, put it up, uh -uh. go all out for his birthday, for all Christmas, out. for Father's so Day. Wait. I'm talking balloons, sprinkles, everything. Extravagant. He doesn't, he doesn't give anything up to her. When she cooks, does she wash the dishes yep. too? That's against the rules. <laughs> That's against like everything I'm supposed to do. Uh -uh. Yeah, like literally like you know how somebody's just not goals like legit not goals so, like you look at her like not goals like legit what, what are you doing like, sis what, what you doing i just feel like if you over i don't know i i'm a really like give I'm, that's my motto give what you take you know what I'm saying? i, like, I want to be equally yoked, yoked. Mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. thank you jesus <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean i feel like i don't mind spoiling a man but i will have to he has to be really worth it you gotta earn you gotta establish yeah. it because you can't come out the gate doing something that's why i say right. now because I'm older. Right. I know it's like I'm not going to come out of the gate spoiling you. Now. Like, even like little things. Because I'm just, I'm real mushy. Mm -hmm. I like to like leave note, love notes all mm -hmm. over. Like, I can see that. I can I'm, see I'm that. Like, I mean, because I get that from my mom. Because you go all out. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, but I'm like, I know now it's like, okay, no, it has to be where we've established a relationship where right. we're both doing stuff for each other. I'm not yeah. about to just do that type of stuff anymore. Right. So like, these dudes didn't deserve it. Yeah, and then I, that's the thing. They don't really appreciate it. Because nope. I was watching, what was that one video? Oh, yeah. This is YouTube we watch. It's just straight ratchet TV. <laughs> But I can't stop watching addicted. it. <laughs> Literally every day we just text each other like, can you believe? Yeah, yeah. But she got her man, like it was their anniversary. She got her man this like gift or whatever. He was, I mean, it wasn't really a, a gift, but it was like, I, I would be excited for if somebody presented that to me. Mm -hmm. No emotion, <clears throat> nothing. Like it was like, and he just kept asking questions. I'm like, can I get a thank you? Right. And then this is the, crazy, the next day he was like, can I, can I take the gift back and you give me your credit card to go buy something that I want? Excuse Literally, me? I didn't see that part. Girl, you gotta go back and watch see, it. See, I, I skimmed through it because it's just too ratchet. I meant to touch you, I guess. Yeah, he was, he was begging in the car. He's like, can I get your credit card? Like, let mm -hmm. me go in the store real quick. Like, and that's, that's the thing, like, <laughs> that's why I just don't. Let's move on before I start to get mad. I'm about to say, I'm about to get mad too. <laughs> do what we gotta do, bro. Boogers, I heard him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I swear, I was telling my coworker, I was like, when I get sick, I just feel so incompetent. Like, I just feel out of it, yes. like a loser. He was like, are you serious? I was like, yes. <laughs> These posts about, do you consider this a date? Let me set up the story. It was basically a picture of a meal. Was it a fancy meal? Probably like a takeout meal in a car. And um, of course, that picture doesn't have a lot of context, but I wanted to get your thoughts on like, what do you consider a date? I want you to ask me and be like, this is like a date. Let's go here. I want a man to plan it. I hate it when some dude texts me. He's like, oh, like, when are you what free? What you want to do? I tell him, he's like, oh, what you want to do? And I'm like, no, you ask me exactly. out and you plan it. He's right. like, well, I don't know what you like. They also need to use it. Well, you're vegan. All right, it's lots of vegan options out here. You just, I just want you to turn the research. You already took the initiative to ask me out. Just plan it. Like, right. That turns me off when he's like, oh, what do you want to do? Are you fine? Don't, no. Like, be like, hey, are you free this day? My camera was like, sis, I'm done. So I'm using my phone, but we're almost done. So continue. Um, I feel like 
if we are already like talking, we're already going on a date, and he brings me an Apostle Burger from Burger King, and he sets the car up really cute, sure, that can be a date. I caught the vegan one. I heard that they were like cooked with like, there was no, a whole thing. into it. Oh, because the <laughs> they don't cook it on a separate grill. Yeah. I, that's what I was saying. I was like, isn't that like, because I know Sydney in past like restaurants, like if she sees them touching meat and then they touch her vegan stuff or vegetarian stuff, she's like, sis, no, what are you doing? Because yeah. she could taste, you could taste yeah. the grease. Yeah. So I, I can understand like that's kind of, it's cross contamination. Yeah. But what do you consider a <laughs> date? Like I said, I'm real, I'm real, I'm real basic. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, I'm basically like a, a, a puppy. I like mm -hmm. to I go for walks. I love a walk like that. I think that that's so cute. That I cute. love walking, especially it's like simple. if it's night. Like, yeah, yeah, and it's like lights up in the trees. And and oh, I love it. Like, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Or like, um, like down at the harbor, they have like a Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to make this guy take me down there and we would go for walks. And I'm like, I think mm -hmm. that's really nice. And we yeah. like, just talk. Cause I'm like, that's, I like to talk. I like to get to know people. I want to know who I'm dealing with. Yeah, like, That's what I'm saying. I feel like how, why is that so hard to figure out what somebody likes and then execute because i'm the type of person i'll tell you like i like this that and then i'll give you the leeway to you know plan accordingly and then on top of that if you plan something that i don't necessarily like i'm still going to be grateful for it right. if that yeah. makes sense like you i'm still effort. right you should they should be able to do like if they're asking me on a date like you said they should be able to take right. the initiative not well what do you want to do yeah. you can go wherever you want to go i was thinking maybe dinner or the movie just make up your mind I'm like, like but, then, but then they can ask, ask. Yeah, yeah it can be like well what type of things do you like so i can make an informed decision but it's not like don't ask me on the like well, what do you want to do right but like remember the dating shows like um like blind date eliminate like all those type of right. shows they would go to these creative places yeah. like body painting yeah. i think that's great that is nice. yeah. this is for another video but <laughs> this is why i believe if you don't have money you shouldn't be dating right blame blame period <laughs> and i don't mind dating a broke guy i've been there many a times but if you broke i'm gonna need that creativity to be elevated because yeah. like you can't exactly. date when you're broke like i don't don't be like on a mattress on the floor or anything but yeah like, I I mean, like, you pillows. can be creative, like, go, let's go to the park, let's have a picnic, <laughs> picnic. Like, yeah. like, let's do something, like, Or even out. that car situation. That's what we that's, that's that feasible, car, if you yeah, don't have right? money. That car situation when we like, food. If we go out to a scenery and just mm -hmm. sit out and watch the view or whatever, that's a date. Like, yeah. yeah. So, to wrap that point, it's like, to me, a date is, like, basically something that you you do the extra step for mm -hmm. it's not something like i remember i was with the guy who shall remain nameless mm -hmm. basically he was like um his friends canceled on him so he hit me up like hey you want to hang out go out no. and so Did me he tell you that like oh my friends canceled let's go hang out yes oh. the disrespect y'all i didn't love myself <laughs> I like, we 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 i'm like <laughs> this was a few years ago i didn't love myself <laughs> It gets worse. Oh. So we go to the mall, right? And I don't really, I'm not really a mall person. I don't like being around a lot of people at once. And especially if I, I'm not shopping for myself. So we go to the mall as a date. He asked me to go out with him to the mall and I agreed. So it's partially my fault too. But um, we go shopping for him. Legit, oh. legit in one did store. Did you want something or? Oh. If you know who I'm talking about now, you know. And we st we shopping in this one store for at least. I want to say an hour. Was he asking for your opinion on stuff too? Yes. Oh no. Ew. And then we went out to like we grab like pizza or whatever. You pay? Did he pay? No. Pay? <laughs> no. And I mean again. that was a, me. girl. Me. But that was a situation. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. But I mean, again, I'm very understanding. Everybody's situation is different, you yeah. know. Sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. But I'm just like, you asked me out on a date. Like, you could have kept this date to yourself. It wasn't even a date. Like, yeah. to me, it was no initiative. It was no, I was just a fact of a matter type situation. I'm bored, so let's hang out. Yup. Yeah, and I mean, like, <laughs> this is somebody that was actively, like, with, like, this is, we were, like, legit together. So I was just like, it, that's so ugly. Child like and i'll probably go through it again because i am who i am but no God this was good. a lesson you, you, you learn, learn. You learn. That's thing right you, know, I feel like you should women, yeah you should learn you learn as you, go. you you experience different things to find out what you like which is basically what dating is yeah. you basically have to figure out what you like what you dislike right. and what another person does or their actions mm -hmm. and that's how you develop like their standards yeah, yeah. and then you learn what's acceptable because i say yeah. what is acceptable if for a date is like planning the initiative what's unacceptable is come over my house and chill yeah right. come sit on my bed like yep. no yep. you're taking me out i'm not going to your house
your house when we first meet. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me to come over. I'm gonna cut you out and hang up the phone. Yes. Right. That's that's just that on that. And I think that to get to tie back into Valentine's, even if you do decide to like go out, if you want somebody to really put effort into Valentine's Day, you have to create that boundary for yourself. Mm -hmm. Have those conversations, yeah. which yep. I think I know I struggle with because I'm very passive. I don't like talking about my feelings and stuff. So I just, you know, kind of just like, oh, okay, whatever. I try to go with the flow, but it never works. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you yeah, paint yourself like I'm going to go with the flow or I, I don't ask for right. much, then they're not going to give you nothing. Right. So you got to act like you're you got to act like you're standing yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so that we didn't really do a lot of eating. We did a lot of talking, yes. you guys, um, because this food is garbage. We're older. Like, you know, yeah. your taste buds get different when you get older. Yeah. Like, we were that jump literally hit the back yeah. of my mold, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah. stop. So I <laughs> uh, but this is to my future boyfriend out there. This is my favorite candy. So if you give me this on Valentine's Day, I'm going to be so happy. And I'm probably gonna eat this in my bed tonight. Bag. No, save it for Valentine's Day. I should. I should. <laughs> to my future boyfriend, I like money. <laughs> and to your future boyfriend? My future boyfriend. Hi, Ruben. Um, <laughs> I can't wait until we go on our first date. We can take a walk if you like. I know you should. You, you're off your crutches and you're doing your little Achilles um, exercises. So I'll just. You can lean on me if you like. This is the strong shoulder. Ooh. Amen. <laughs> see, see, I feel like we just we have everything laid out mm -hmm. and we present it, and then it goes in one ear and out. Yup, yup, yup. That's just. Like, but, gonna, but that's why I haven't. I haven't dated in like three years now because I'm like I had such a bad experience. You did the tell last me time. that, yeah. And I said, well, well, now I know it's like I'm not getting involved anymore under any circumstance. It's like no, you have to show me that you're about me and i'm not i'm not taking the bs yes. anymore so. and another you know just throwing this in there if you don't do anything on valentine's with the dude or if dudes if you don't do anything on time oh for my gosh if you don't do anything if you don't have a significant other on valentine's day that's when you go to your girls and have a Valentine's day mm -hmm. dudes i don't know what y'all do because just go out with your boys or something don't don't just because valentine's day is like seemingly like made for lovers mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be for people that you are in a relationship with it could just be your friends like i think that valentine's day should reflect love and fun and you know have that around your have that around you during that day mm -hmm. agree any final points, ladies? My throat is like, girl, what are you doing Sorry, to us? And you had the sugar. I should have bought tea for you. I hate tea. Oh, okay. Everybody keep telling me about this hot toddy, and I'm like, I literally yeah. only have Jack in his house. I can't make hot toddy. Or Starbucks has the medicine bottle. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. It's going to clear you all the way up. I love it. Girl, that. I just want this joint to get kicked out. Like, I'm so over it. But <laughs> thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to these ladies channels. I'm going to pop Cindy's up right here. And let's pop Jazz's up right here. Please support us, you guys. We're trying to make this thing, make it do what it do. We love pushing out content. It's hard, but we're doing it. We're making it do what it do. So please support. Please, 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 please support. And we promise you we'll keep delivering the goodies. Keep you satisfied, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even be cute because this is cold. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. What if that joke wasn't recording the whole time? Oh, I was just scared here. about that. Yeah. <gasps> I didn't know. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, that was done.